hello everyone before we start with the tutorial let me give you a little preview of the website from where you can download the Revit families and blocks and use them in your architectural and interior design projects all of these uh, family files which you are seeing here are fully parametric and as I have mentioned here there are these windows center tables doors and also these folding doors which you can rotate at any given angle now a new addition are these sofas these are not parametric uh, these are non parametric families but uh, each set contains a three seater sofa a two seater sofa and a single seater so that uh, you can use them in your you, uh, in, in you can use them in your interior design projects and also if you want to look at the detailed design of these families and also you want to see how the what are their dimensions and how the parameters work then you can go to this tutorials tab and then watch these videos to have a better understanding of the families and from this shop tab you can buy these products now let's move towards our tutorial for today in this video i am going to create this type of dom in revit using the messing technique and the generic model adaptive but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start the tutorial open a new architectural template file in revit in the messing and site tab click on in place mask click ok and then select this reference plane the shortcut key is rp if you want to use it and then assign name to this reference plane i have named it one then go to the south elevation set the reference plane to one which you have just drawn in the floor plan and then select this reference line and make sure draw on work plane is selected and here I'm going to draw a line like this it basically depends upon the internal depth of the internal height of the dom and then I have drawn this reference arc like this it's base uh, the starting point of this arc and the line should be on a straight line it means it should be equal then select both of them in the 3d and click on create form for multiple selection use the control button on the keyboard then select them and click on divide surface so these x uh, so these v grids and u grids have appeared now if you select them from here you can change uh, the numbers you can either increase or decrease the number of u grid and the v grid so select both of them make sure they both of them have equal number of equal number of u grids and the v grids if you select them you can see that uh, you can also change uh, the you can also uh, adjust the distance between these grids if you don't want to use the numbers so i have created the u grids and v grids which are nine feet nine inches and one feet approx from this dialog box of surface representation you can check these nodes then go to the top view of the 3d and from here start counting the nodes so these are one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 so there are basically 29 nodes so i am going to create a generic model adaptive family with 29 adaptive points for that open a new family template file of generic model adaptive and then go to the reference level floor plan select the reference point element and place one here then select it and copy it at a distance of let's say one feet you don't have to worry that much about 
the uh, dimensions in this family file okay so i have moved it uh, one feet away from the line so select both of them and start copy it select multiple so here i'm going to keep on copying it like this now these points should be 29 in number so let's count them and if there are any points which are more than 29 just delete them so i have these points extra which are more than 29 so i'm just going to delete them then select all of them and then click on make adaptive so you can see we have now 29 adaptive points and they should be in an ascending order so let's now select this reference line make sure drawn face is selected 3d snapping is checked and start connecting these points as you can see in the video After connecting all of these points, go to 3D. And place a reference point here. Then set the reference plane to this surface like this. And draw a rectangle. Make sure drawn work plane is selected. 3D snapping is unchecked. And drawn work plane is selected. And then draw a rectangle like this uh, select it and move it so that it is at the center of the line now select these lines and then select this and click on create form use control button for multiple selection now press tab button to select all of these surfaces and assign material parameter to it so that if you load it into the project file you can assign material to these surfaces now save it and load it into the project file go to the top view of 3d place the first reference point here second here third here so the fourth here the fifth here so in this manner one by one uh, i am going to assign the points to all of the 29 adaptive points
after placing all of the adaptive points like the last one here let's see how it looks like in the 3d and this is how it looks like so now you can see that i need to flip this generic model family so select it and check this flip so that it is on the outer side of the dome and not towards the inner side now select it and click on repeat command so that it is applied on in this manner till towards the top so we have created our pattern on the dom surface now select the surface to uh, uh, remove these no, uh, node points on it then click on finish mass and go to the meshing inside tab select this wall by face command and place wall on it select both of them and from here set the location line to finish face interior so that it is towards the interior side of the dome so you can see how easy it is to create a dome with pattern in Revit you can create different type of patterns using the same technique and process in Revit and this is how it looks like and if you don't want to see this um, the amazing surface open the visibility in graphics box and check this mass view so that the mass is not visible in the 3d so it looks like this and i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe